Hi, Chad. Hi. It's great having you at the Paradise Warrior Retreat. How was your experience here? Uh, thanks for having me, first of all. Um, man, it was awesome. I love teaching guys that, uh, you know, really appreciate it and, um, you know, really like learning the stuff. So um, I love sharing the knowledge. It was awesome. We had a good turnout, actually. So it's, it's always fun. Thank you. Uh, what, what's next for you? You had a great fight with uh, Jose Aldo. Jose Aldo. A fight that could have gone either way. Uh, what's next for you? What's waiting for you next? Yeah, I'm fighting Ricardo Lamas April 4th. Uh, it's the main event on the Fox card uh, in Virginia. So another five-round fight. Uh, hopefully get in there and get it done before the five rounds. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm expecting a battle. Ricardo Lamas is tough. Um, you know, so we're going to train for the best, hopefully beat the best, and, you know, be the best. So we'll see. If you beat uh, Ricardo Lamas, is a uh, is it another title shot afterwards? Yeah, I think so. I mean, Ricardo is definitely top five. Um, you know, a win, especially a, you know, a big win, maybe a submission or knockout, you know, or a complete dominant win. I think that's, um, you know, it says enough to get back in there for the title shot. So ultimately that's up to the UFC, but um, at this point that's what I'm hoping for. Do we have a preference either to fight the winner of uh, McGregor and uh, Jose Aldo? You know, this is a tough one for me. Uh, you know, Aldo's the only person that has ever beat me. He's beat me twice now. Um, you know, so ultimately I would, you know, I think in the back of my mind, that's the person that I want to get in there and kind of get redemption on. But, you know, it would feel so good to beat the crap out of Conor McGregor. Uh, the guy just talks a big talk and, um, you know, he's been beating guys that are, you know, top 15 in the UFC. So, um, you know, it would be awesome to get in there and beat the crap out that dude. As far as fighting in Brazil, do you feel, do you feel like fighting Jose Aldo in Brazil was a little dis disadvantage for you? I mean, somewhat. I mean, I think the... The biggest thing is probably the crowd, you know, the judging, the scoring system is still a little rough in MMA, you know, you get a crowd that, when I punch Jose, the crowd's quiet, when he punches me, the crowd goes crazy, you know, and so, I think that weighs in the mind of the judges a little bit, but, um, you know, all in all, like I said, the, the judging, the scoring, everything's still a little rough in MMA, so, you know, I went out there, I laid my heart on the line, that was, you know, my everything at that time, so, um, you know, I'm not disappointed I lost, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a little bummed, obviously it would have been cool to get that W and get that belt, but, you know, in my mind, I trained as hard as I possibly could, and I went out there and, and left everything in the octagon, so, you know, I took Jose in, in to deeper water than anybody's ever taken him, um, you know, proved to everybody that he is human, and uh, in my mind, you know, I know I can beat this guy, you know, I was so close, um, you know, I think a couple small things changed throughout that fight, and I win, so, you know, I'm just going to keep trying to get better, uh, making improvements in my game, I've watched that fight, I've, you know, seen a couple mistakes, um, you know, and I'm going to fix them, come back, and I'm going to beat him. Would you ever, would you go again if the fight is in Brazil, would you agree to it, or you rather have this fight in the U.S. this time? Uh, ultimately, I would 100% want to fight in the United States, uh, you know, I've gone to Brazil and fought him twice now, um, you know, I understand he's the champ and he is from Brazil, but uh, hopefully if we come come down that path, down that road, that this time we'll be able to have it in the States, so we'll see. Obviously, you prove everyone you're one of the best uh, guys out there in your division. And I, I think your development is amazing and your durability. And I, I expect great things from you. And one last question. Would you come back and teach at the Paradise Warrior Retreat? Oh, of course. Thank you very much, first of all. I appreciate that. Okay, but the one condition. One, next time you come with a belt. Okay, I, <laughs> let's do that. I like that. He said everybody that's taught here has become a champion, a UFC champion. So he offered for me to come here and, and teach before that title fight. And uh, I wasn't aware of this. So I'm going to have to yell at my managers a little bit because I think I would have been a UFC champion at that point. But, hey, I've, I've come here, I've taught. And next time we come back, hopefully I have the belt. So thank you. Okay, well, it was great. Great having you. Everyone enjoy you. Thank you very and much. And I'll see you soon. Yeah, all right.